It's been a minute. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Sneaker Circle. It is your boy Danny back with another review. And now it's been a slow 2024 for me. I must admit sneaker pickups have not been the most on top of my list. But to be fair, there hasn't been a lot coming out that I really, I've been really going for. If you're new to the channel, just know I do reviews on pickups. Usually everything is at retail, so I get incredibly lucky with most of my things. Rarely I'll ever go for resale unless it's a sneaker that I absolutely have to have. That being said, let's go ahead and get these shoes out of the box and let's just let's take, a, let's take a candor at them. That is, that is an awkward opening. So in front of us today, we do have the 2002R collaboration with Jound. It is the charcoal gray, I think it's they're called, or smoke gray, no, I think it's charcoal. Ow, why are these shoes so stuck? In front of us today, we do have those charcoal grays. So this is one of two colors that released. Charcoal gray and another one that's olive based. So they all have black bases and the suede is what's different. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the box fully and then we're just gonna get straight into it. All right, so out of the box, nice and empty. If you're not too familiar with 2002 R's, it was a model that gained a lot of popularity within the last like two, three years, basically the whole pandemic era. The refined feature GR pairs really took this model off. And since then we've been seeing like a lot of good collaborations, a lot of good colorways coming through that model. Some might say a little too much, like it, it went over the top. You can kind of find them anywhere in every color now, but it's a good sneaker. It's a really good base sneaker. So the cool thing about these is they are supposed to be a Gore-Tex version. So right here, if you look at that tab, I did get a 10 and a half. I went my classic size when it comes to these. Uh, they do not fit big. Go true to size. Do not size down for these. If you do size down for New Balances, that is. And if you've never owned a pair of New Balances before in your life, maybe I'll throw some suggestions in the comments of like models you could try out, like at your mall or something. In the true down nature, everything is simplified. You do have basically just gold lettering right there. Pretty reflective. And getting into the sneakers. Now you do have this little like warning label about color migration and care. I'll try to like take a picture and actually show you what that says. But it's basically saying colors might bleed onto one another. Usually the darker colors bleed onto the lighter colors. So if you're someone who doesn't really like New Balances, these aren't really gonna move like the needle for you. It's not something crazy, extraordinary or something completely wild. Since these are labeled as a Gore-Tex sneaker, it's supposed to be all completely waterproof. Or should I say like weatherproof? It's supposed to be a really good everlasting material. I'm gonna test these for sure because these are personals. These are gonna, these are rain shoes to me. That being said, the suede that's associated with these is really soft. Like it's a really good, nice, soft suede. It's not the most brushable, but in terms of just softness, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll give them that. New Balance and Cortex. Did a really good job at like sourcing the suede. You do have other little details right here. So on this suede right here, you have a little 3M hit right there, 3M hit right there, and then another 3M hit right here. On the back, you have another little 3M detail, but it also says Jound. So look at that right there. And the mesh isn't as loose as like traditional New Balance mesh. It's a little more tightly woven. That does not affect sizing. These still, again, stay true to size if that's what you like. When it comes to the 2002 R's, you can probably hit like a, a full locker up and try on a pair. So you are offered two different types of laces. So you have this thing that Jones has been doing with a lot of its New Balances and just a lot of its sneakers in general, where it kind of gives you like these rope aesthetics and you have little drawstrings, nothing too crazy. You don't have to tie your shoes, it's nice, but you do get regular flats. Now, I don't think these regular flats are waterproof. I'm probably not gonna test that because I like the way the, the rope laces look on them. And it's just a nice little nice little detail. Right there by the label, you get the 2002R and you get Gore-Tex. It would've been cool to see a bit of John there, but you do have it on the back like I showed you before. Little logos right there, John's Projects, John.com, where I did get these, and then Gore-Tex to keep you dry. So you got New Balance's Endurance sole right here. Let's see if I can catch that on camera because it's so dark. Regular New Balance logos right there as well. And a nice little detail I was noticing, there's no logos here on the tongue. There usually is. So for this model, there usually is. All in all, I think this is a pretty solid collaboration. You have Jound on the insoles, the only hit of white on this entire sneaker, which is kind of crazy to say. So the day I'm recording this video, these are supposed to release globally at $190. 
I did pay $190. I did have to pay like some absurd tax and shipping through Jam, so it was probably like closer to like 220, 230. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, if I don't think about it, it didn't even happen. You feel me? That being said, these are priced a lot higher. And I don't know if it's just because it's a John project or because of the Gore-Tex materials by themselves. I'm gonna say it's because of the Gore-Tex materials, but I mean, we'll see realistically. Let me give you these nice little lasting glamour shots. I'm telling you, this sneaker is pretty nice. Now with retail being so high, you kind of have to consider that when you look on StockX, Go, eBay, or you're just trying to buy them off of somebody. I feel like these did sell out on the site. It didn't feel like it was the craziest transaction process in the world. Like I wasn't stuck in line, fighting bots, stuff like that. It was pretty in and out for me. Pause. I don't think there was a ton of hype on these. And that means if you are in the market to get a pair, I would suggest waiting it out. Do not buy these at whatever prices they're at right now. Cause after the global release, people are gonna get their pairs in. They're gonna wanna sell them. Retail was so high. So you can kind of assume right now, anybody on StockX or GOAT is selling for a loss. Like 100% they're selling for a loss. So if you can find sellers in person, locally, whatever, that have pairs in hand, see what prices they do. I mean, there's, there's aspects to it. If you buy it on GOAT, you kind of have to like, you know, pay taxes, pay shipping, stuff like that. And if you're the seller, you also have to pay transaction fees and all the, all of that stuff. And you can calculate payout if you're smart enough to kind of look and see how everything's done. So you kind of know what you should be offering if you are interested. Again, my advice is just wait it out. Prices might come down a little bit more, but there's always a risk of prices going up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on feet, throw them on with a pair of pants, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. If you made it this far, I'm just gonna say thank you for tuning in, thank you for checking me out. It's been a minute, I'm gonna, I'm trying to roll these videos out, but it's like, wow, I got nothing to buy. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Be easy.